happening now. The cattle fever tick continues to drain profits for local ranchers. During the summer months, many have a tough time finding the resources to fight the pest. Channel 5 Stephen Saravia tells us ranchers are struggling to keep business afloat. The rancher we spoke with says the cost of keeping their cattle clean is forcing small ranchers to get out of the business. And this rancher says he's doing all he can to stay in. For something so small, problems it's causing are anything but. Everybody that's been around me that's gotten, that's gotten, had fever ticks, they're out of business. They're completely out of business. Danny Davis is a cattle rancher in Cameron County. He says the biggest issue isn't just the tick, it's the cost to follow regulations when under quarantine. 20, 20, 30,000 dollars. On top of treatment, Davis says he had to build a new facility which can not only round up all of his cattle, but help administer the spray. The costs don't end there. Every time the cattle is sprayed for the tick, they're marked with this yellow paint, and it's this mark which makes it difficult to sell. Uh, you know, of a, of a high and a low at a, at a sale yard, your cows are going to get the low end of, of the price. Davis says he recently tried selling some of his cattle, but was only getting offered half the price. One of the things helping him stay in business is that all his cattle are already paid for. Right now, Davis says he is waiting out the quarantine like a bad storm. Right now, Star, Hidalgo, Cameron, and parts of Willacy County are under a quarantine zone for the cattle fever tick. The Texas Animal Health Commission says the tick can infect cattle, bison, swine, as well as other animals with a contagious disease, which causes decreased milk production, weight loss, loss of young, as well as infertility. Live in the Channel 5 News studio, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 1030.